In the time it takes you to listen to these words, someone somewhere in the world will purchase a Unilever product. That's one every six seconds of every single day. Unilever is so successful that it's the world's third largest consumer products company, with over 400 leading brands. Sales in 2010 were an astonishing 44.3 billion euros, with a net profit of 4.6 billion euros. Unilever's CEO Paul Polman states, If we are in sync with consumer needs and take responsibility for society as well as for our employees, then the shareholder will also be rewarded. Powerful words. So why isn't he practicing what he preaches? Since 2001, worldwide employees' numbers have been slashed from 279,000 to 175,000. Much of this has been achieved by ruthless outsourcing. Take Lipton Tea, one of Unilever's billion-dollar brands. You wouldn't know it if you visited the factory in Karachi. There's no nameplate, no billboards, no logos. In fact, nothing to connect it to Unilever whatsoever. Rather convenient, since it means the world's leading tea can now be produced here entirely by temporary agency staff. Not a single worker has a permanent employment contract. And what about here in the UK? How is Paul Polman taking care of his 7,000 loyal Unilever employees? By trying to replace their existing pension scheme with a new one that cuts retirement income by between 20 and 40%. And how will these cutbacks affect Paul's astronomical salary? Quite favourably, it seems, as it's jumped by 50% in a year and is now 285 times greater than the average employee. Maybe Paul's a little confused. If your products are good at treating dirt, perhaps he thinks he can treat his employees like dirt too. In December, the loyal workforce decided enough was enough and launched their first ever national strike. And what was Unilever's response? They cancelled Christmas celebrations. More dirty tactics. How ironic for a company whose founding principle was bringing Christian ethics to commerce. It's time for Unilever to start practising what it preaches. Instead of punishing the loyal workforce that has made the company a global success, it's time for Unilever to remember what it once stood for. Back in the good old days, Lord Leverhulme campaigned in Parliament to make strong pension schemes integral to forward-thinking companies. Paul Polman said recently in The Guardian, what people want in life is to be recognised, to be part of, to grow and to have made a difference. It's time for the loyal Unilever employees to be recognised too, and given the security they've been promised all their working lives. Stop Unilever washing retirement plans down the drain by registering your support.